Hey guys, what's up? I'm here with another guide on Red Dead Redemption, and this time it's on how to get the Treasure Hunter outfit. I'm just going to show you the requirements here. There are six scraps in total, and they're uh, pretty standard, pretty easy to get. So first is scrap one, which is to search Silent Stead. It's pretty easy. Just go to this location. It sort of looks like an abandoned house, which you find later. Is it really an abandoned house? I mean, there's a light and stuff, but whatever, it looks pretty abandoned. Yeah, just search this chest and you'll be done. Oh yeah, and this outfit isn't unlocked in your journal until you complete Seth's last mission, I believe. So, if you don't have it in your journal, that's the reason why. Just continue on in the story. Alrighty, so on to scrap two, which is the complete California Strangers task. This one is actually a five-part mission, and it starts off with me seeing Mr. Sam Odessa. Now, to even have the ability to find Mr. Sam Odessa, you have to complete Bonnie McFarland's mission, Women and Cattle. Hello there. Oh, nice to see me. Sam should be down here. Name's Sam. Sam Odessa. Now, these purple bubbles on my map are where Sam Odessa is located, and they're not going to spawn right away. So to initiate them faster, you can save and then load your game, and you should see them on your map pretty easily. Sam. Sam Odessa. Still out here? How's it going? Now part 3 of 5 of this stranger task is no different than the other ones and you just have to locate Sam Odessa again. So just follow where I am on the radar and you should have no trouble. Sam, we meet again. How you doing out here? Just why the shouting? Why the dancing? Why the laughter? I, I hope I die laughing, I do. Keep this up, you just might. So again, like all the other parts of this stranger task, just follow this purple bubble, but this time you find Sam in, let's just say, not his best state. And um, when you rummage through his belongings, you find some cash, which you take, and but you also find this letter. And this letter must be delivered to the mail office courier thing at Armadillo. Also, a quick note, you can actually view the letter if you go into your inventory and go into one of the slots and you can click it and read it. It's pretty interesting. So that's about it for this scrap, and it's going to probably be the longest scrap you do out of all of them. So scrap 3 is to make a profit playing blackjack at Raft's Killer's Fork. When you make it here, you'll see the little uh, card icon and you'll want to go to it and press B to play blackjack and you'll have 200 chips and what you're trying to do is win any size bet that gets you over 200 chips. So I bet $2 which is the lowest and I get a 17 so I get a queen and a 7. Queen stands for 10 points and 7 stands for 7. You're going to want to try and get to 21 but not over and you can hit to get more cards to try and get closer to 21. Uh, I'm not going to explain all blackjack here but I hope you get the uh, premises of it. Anyway, luckily the dealer busted and I won that hand and so did everyone else. So that's why I kept it at 17 because I saw his cards weren't exactly the optimum. On to scrap 4, we got to claim a treasure hunter bounty alive. Now, the wanted posters in Raskiller Fork as well. And it's right near the blackjack area too, so it's all in this general area. You're going to want to hold B to look at the poster, and as you can see, it says treasure hunter gang under the picture. So you're going to want to make sure it says that. And there's been a lot of questions about oh it's not spawning and stuff like that well the best time to go is before 7 a.m. in the morning and then you wait there and you'll probably see the sheriff put up a poster
Anywho, when you get there, you gotta kill his goons and uh, <laughs> proceed to tie him up with your lasso and put him on your horse. Now this one's a bit odd because you have to bring him all the way back to Armadillo, so it's quite a trip. Mark it on your radar and get going. Once you're there, you'll meet the lawman. I'm sure you've done some other bounties. If not, congratulations, you got 40 bucks. Which is pretty decent. I think I got more on other ones, but 40 bucks is 40 bucks. Gap 5 is to complete the Gap Tooth Breach Hideout, and this is only possible after you beat Irish's mission, which also involves something at Gap Tooth Breach. I don't want to give it away, but just finish all of Irish's missions, or at least up to where you see this level, and then you can come back later and you can do this. So, right when you talk to that guy at the beginning, you're going to want to head left and to the blue dot on your map, uh, untie the guy, and then you're going to want to make your way to the entrance of the mine. I just speed it up because it's a bit of a long uh, fight here. Especially when I find these two guys in the back. I thought they were inside the uh, shed, but it's not. So anyway, when you reach the front of the mine, the dude's going to tell you that treasures inside and follow him and I get eager and push him over and start running in for the treasure myself. Some tips while doing this is to blow up the TNT you see, which is the chests or the boxes, and also to blow up the lanterns, or shoot the lanterns rather, and make them explode and set them on fire. Uh, you could also shoot and use Deadeye a lot of course. When you reach this area, the guy's going to tell you there's only one chest, so grab it for yourself. I'm not sure it's required to grab it, but you get $83, and that's pretty good. So go ahead and grab that. And I come back to investigate because I heard an explosion, and the guy actually sat on some TNT and blew up, I guess. Anyway, another weapon animation before I leave the mine, and that's it for Gap Tooth Breach little interesting thing about when you get the treasure on your outfit, you can actually come back to the mine and nobody's going to shoot at you and you can take the treasure. An easy way to get money, except for the last two guys who think they're going to shoot at you, but you can just run for it at the end or just kill them. Anywho, we're at Scrap 6 now, which is the purchase at the Tailor and Thieves Landing. And now I bought it for $250, which is quite a dent in my wallet, but guess if you really want it you're gonna have to do it and money money becomes less of a rarity when you get further in the game so don't be afraid to purchase these kind of things I mean you find ammo and stuff so that shouldn't really be your worries and what else are you gonna spend your money on right So we're at the end of the guide here, and I was wondering if I could get your guys' uh, feedback on what you thought of the video. Uh, I put some work in this one, added some new stuff, and was trying something different. And I was wondering what you guys thought. Also, if you like the video, be sure to subscribe, rate, favorite, and all that good stuff. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.